It's an exciting time for Port Manatee. A change in the Panama Canal could mean great things for the Sun Coast. More now from our Kate Flexter on this. Kate? That's right, Ray. We're more than a thousand miles away from Panama, but these improvements to the canal are expected to be far reaching in terms of local economy and jobs. It's time for celebration at the Panama Canal. A $5.25 billion expansion years in the making is finally finished. The original Panama Canal constructed by the U.S. in the 1900s could only accommodate boats that were 1,000 feet long. Now they can accommodate 1,200 foot long vessels known as New Panamax ships. 1,300 miles northeast in Port Manatee, there's cause for celebration as well. The Panama Canal is now officially open, so we could expect cargoes here in the next six to eight months that have transversed the Panama Canal. Port Manatee is the closest U.S. deep water seaport to the Panama Canal, and the port's executive director says this will mean more business and more jobs for Manatee County and the entire region. What we expect is a lot of economic activity and opportunities. The port already brings in more than $2 billion to the local economy, supporting more than 2,400 jobs. But with the canal expansion and the trade embargo lifted in Cuba, port officials expect cargo projects to double over the next decade. They specifically expect to impact larger retailers in the area, including companies like Target, Walmart, Bells, Rooms to Go, and Badcock. The commodities coming in that transverse the Panama Canal are mostly uh, items that you would buy in your Walmart, Kmart, television sets, uh, cameras, etc. But there are some limitations for the port, like a smaller draft that keeps bigger ships from coming to Port Manatee. Bukiras says the port plans to make use of so-called transshipment ports like Freeport, Bahamas, or Kingston, Jamaica. Those ports can accommodate the larger cargoes, which will then be divided and shipped out on smaller ships to places like Port Manatee. But even with that obstacle, Sharon Hillstrom of the Bradenton Area Economic Development Corporation says this will have a major impact on the area's economy and create a diverse array of jobs. Like taking the stuff off the ships and putting it on trucks, truck drivers, things like that. But then you need the people that manage all of the um, transportation aspects, getting things logistically from one place to another. And so um, those are, are really nice paying jobs. She also expects Port Manatee to be appealing to companies because of its proximity to major highways. That's a rare attribute since ports tend to be located in urban areas. Time is money and then getting from point A to point B as quickly and as efficiently as possible is what companies are looking for today. Hillstrom says this won't just affect the port, but the entire region, making it a global business destination. This area in general, not just Manatee County, but the region itself will benefit from um, shippers coming here, uh, creating global awareness for this area as a great business destination. Of course, the port may not see those effects immediately. It could take a few months. An exciting time for us, though. All right. Thank you, Kate. Nice job.